currently stuck on the M40. It hasn't got the coating on it yet, but it's all been um, brushed up, polished up. Hello, hope everyone's keeping well. It's a couple of days now after the uh, Van Life Festival, which was awesome. And I am now back down the storage yard as I've got a few things on. Uh, a couple of busy days really so um, for those that don't know I had uh, pretty much a house brick it seemed like fly off the back of a truck and uh, hit the window caused a massive stone chip so the whole front windscreen is getting replaced today they're running a bit late as soon as that's done I've then got a three three and a half hours trip all the way up to um, Darlington I believe it is uh, at the Mills Wills I will correct that uh, if I'm wrong uh, for a pub stopover once the pub stopover is done early in the morning down to PP Protect where I'm getting all the paintwork polished up shined up um, to as good as new and then all the ceramic coating done well the guys have uh, a filing you know got here which is great for me because it means I can hit the road sooner rather than later um, specialist glazing from uh, Auto Glaze. Um, yeah, well, let's get this windscreen changed, shall we? Never just as easy as just popping the window out, eh? Hey? The older motorhomes. Um, like the old Heimers and stuff that are in yeah. rubber, going yeah. back 25, 30 years. Yeah. Literally just pushed them out. Really? Yeah, just held it by rubber gasket. Yeah, I think the newer they get, everything gets made more difficult, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's some from like Roller Team, like the Paper Sews and the Mobile Vetters. I'm not keen on doing those. But yeah. Just trying to figure out about it. So, if you don't mind me asking, are you like mega busy at the moment? I've I heard you are. Yeah. Especially this area. Do you believe it's because of the roads? The way the, you know, are they cracking up more? Because it's like a train track when I'm driving on them. Summertime, especially when it comes to motorhomes, become busier. Uh, yeah. I think it's just because everyone brings their motorhomes out yeah. during that time of year. So on the motorhome side, it's busier. You so know, everything. I mean, everything. Like buses, cars, really? trucks, yeah. all of it. Well, this is a baby window to that then. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see we've got that uh, bus we did in Worthing this morning. Oh, see the glass on that? Yeah, so I'll have a look. Yeah. So they've just been along and uh, they've just done a bus this morning. Uh, you can see the size of that glass pane. Hopefully you see all the cracks up there. So this is a baby to them. That's good for me. That's the uh, rear view camera off. I believe it was just uh, a twisty Twisty types, that twists off the window, so that's good to know. Um, just in case I need to get it off in the future and don't try and yank it off myself. Um, so I believe what they're going to do now is um, lift out the glass in a minute. Great service from the guys. They had, they did spot, they prepped one windscreen, they spotted uh, a fault within that windscreen, so um, they've now replaced it with the spare. Checked it over with no faults, but the, uh, the last one had a little chip in it. So um, yeah, good on the guys for spotting that. No doubt that would have been causing me problems later on. So we're good to go. It's looking lovely. So uh, yeah, excellent. So what's your names? What's your, both your names? Sorry, Peter. Peter Rob. and Rob. Rob. So uh, guys, you've done a terrific job. I don't even think that took an hour. <laughs> no. So um, you know, spot on. So you know exactly what you're doing. Um, but you were just saying as well that you've got Motorhome Heroes website, Motorhome we Heroes website, Motorhome Heroes, and that's. Um, 
for exterior, all the hab stuff, is it? All the exterior sides um, and everything? Anything to do with windows or glass on any motorhome. Lovely. Okay, so I will put a link up on the uh, description so uh, you can check that out. But um, thanks again, guys. Currently stuck on the M40. Probably got about 30 miles to I'm turning off. Uh, but I believe there's been an accident probably about 200 meters in front of me So police are there traffic stop. Let's see. I uh, hope everyone's okay for a start and if they are we uh, move on soon So I've arrived at the uh, pub stop um, Car park is quite big But sun is shining so it's obviously busy It's 7 p.m. right now. Uh, I've managed to squeeze the van in Hopefully this is all right for them um, And I may have to move it later so um, I'm going to go and get some grub now and um, yeah, check out what the, uh, the pub's about. And tomorrow morning, get up nice and early and get out of here, ready for the paintwork to be done. Ordered some food. I changed my top because it's actually getting a bit chilly now. Um, the parking space is fine. The pub's absolutely lovely. It's called the, uh, the Mill Wheel. And they're, if you can see that, they're happy you know, for anyone that wants to do a stopover. I would say there's probably no more than one, maybe two um, vans that can stay here on a night. Um, so I've got my dinner for the evening and I'm gonna have it in the motorhome. I've got the pizza because it's pizza night Wednesdays and I've got some cheesy chips. I asked for it to be takeout. I could have eaten inside. However, that was my option. Um, also, I was able to bring my glass and I'm gonna have a nice deserved beer because it's been a long old day. It's around about 10 past 10 now. I thought I'd show you uh, what it's like at the car park. I'm next to some gas cylinders, which is fine. Um, it was quite busy when I got in here, but I'll, sh I'll spin you around now. Over there, that red thing over there, that's a, like a, a charity clothing bank. There's a couple of cars. Dotting around probably staff. The car park is a reasonable size, but when it's busy, it's quite difficult to get a space, but I've got a space here. And, uh, Easy to get out. Good morning everyone. So I spent the night in the pub car park. Sleep was okay, weren't the best. It's my first night doing a pub stop or anything like that in this van. So I did wake up a few times, but it was quiet, it was safe. You could hear a little bit of road noise, but nothing too, too bad at all. So I'm just gonna take you around um, around the van let's just have a little look um, as we we can see on some of it it's starting to get the more so at the front it's starting to get all the black marks as you can see up, up here um, yeah just normal road muck and all within the, the, the creases so I'm hoping once it's had the uh, polish up and the ceramic coating done, it will be looking as good as new. And I look forward to, to seeing it then. Um, if I can show you a bit of it, I will. Um, but I'll definitely be showing you the end result. And after that, I will keep you updated and if it's actually worth it or not. Richard and the team are washing and prepping the van and going to get all that done. I've um, basically been given a hire car or a car um, to use for the day which I think is a great service um, it means I can get out and about and um, you know go and check out the area so I've come about you know only about three miles away and uh, there is this uh, lovely church which I'll just show you now through here which I will probably check out a bit later Um, and it's got this lovely parking area and it looks like a nice walk so I think I'm going to go and uh, go for a bit of a walk 
Um, uh, if you can see that there. Uh, and the other side, you've got a heritage trail. So, yeah, so I'm going to go for a wander and uh, basically see um, see what's down here, pass some time. It's always nice exploring areas. So I thought I'd take, um, take this moment. So we've had the van now, it's got to be must be about six weeks old a fort and uh, you know things we've had done already so we've had the LPG fitted let's get this bag on right so we've had the LPG fitted we've had um, it in for recall work I didn't quite like the Southampton garage for Fiat, unfortunately. Um, I've now got the van booked in with Fiat in Swindon and they're going to look at the oil sensor because I believe the oil sensor needs changing which means it's an engine lift just to get to the sensor. So that's something that needs looking at. <clears throat> uh, paintwork's all getting done today. Uh, what else? I think I'm going for the air ride suspension. So I'm not going to go the full Chapang where you can do all the little bit extra bits like uh, leveling, etc. It's quite expensive um, to do that. So just the normal air suspension, just to glide across these roads a little bit better uh, than the Alco suspension that's on the vehicle. Um, and I am probably going to upgrade the solar so the solar is okay but as the weather turns which can, happens quite quick in the UK it's, uh, it needs more I feel and with this system that's on it I'm not sure what sort of upgrades come with that um, to receive that solar and if I'm doing the solar, then I may as well do the battery and get that changed over to lithium. Um, hopefully, still run it all off the command system. And we will see on that, so I'll get advice on that and look more deeply into that. Uh, yeah, so that'll probably cover most of the upgrades. The screen, front screen has been replaced. Um, so sometimes it's not all about the upgrades, <clears throat> you know, it's just the, the standard stuff. I have got also some warranty work with inside uh, on the Swift side. Hopefully uh, that gets approved within the week um, and it could take, you know, a good month or so just to get the work done on that, to get the parts across. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to having the, the van at the spec I want it and the, the further travels are filled. And it's just going through that process of getting, I suppose, the, the standard van um, and getting it to, to how you want to use it. I have to excuse the road noise. But uh, yeah, I'm over a bridge now. Uh, got quite a main road down there. I'm sticking to the middle of the bridge because uh, I'm not even looking down. So I let the camera do that because I don't like heights. So I'm just seeing where this takes me really. I think the main thing out of all this is I've got to find my way back to the courtesy car as I don't want to lose that for Richard. So right, the, the road noise is uh, muffling down now. I'm going up some steps. Yeah, not sure what's on the other side. Looks like. 
a bit more of a walking trout. So I could believe you can just you can walk for miles around here. There's trails everywhere, a lot of biking um, trails around here. It's quite a good scenic, beautiful area. And if you've got your van in for the day, yeah, you can definitely come out and get lost with hopefully finding your way back to the to the courtesy car or you can just take your bikes um, straight off the van I didn't bring, bring my bike with me um, this this uh, trip but I'm quite happy walking seven hours to kill I reckon they'll have it ready for around four o'clock mine's the only van in today I will be back earlier than that um, to have a chat to have a chat with Richard just so he can explain to everyone the process of what you know they do when it comes to ceramic coating because um, there is other stuff they do as well but yeah let's carry on with this walk um, after being out for I suppose about four hours I thought I'd come back to the um, yard and check the van and it's looking absolutely amazing so far. It hasn't got the coating on it yet, but it's all been um, brushed up, polished up, and you can already see the difference. And you see the wheels there shining away, but apparently it's gonna be enhanced even more. Let's quickly take you up onto the, to the roof, which is always the difficult one to keep clean. So hopefully with the coating and everything on it, it's gonna be a lot cleaner. Um, or easier to stay clean but that roof is now sparkling there's a little bit more to do on it so I will show you the finished product once it's all complete but so far looking good we now have the uh, the van all complete and it's looking absolutely it's just like it's come back out the factory so I'll take you around it now So they do everything as well. So all the mirror protectors, the, the glass, the wheels. They even polish out all your windows. And um, that gets coated as well as everything else. But as you can see, it's shining up absolutely gleaming now. And they give a three year guarantee on this. It should last longer. But if you remember on the earlier clips, these strips down here, it's quite stubborn. And all that's now been taken out. And it's looking good. So yeah, if you need ceramic coating on your motorhome, they do look after you. I'm here now with um, Richard um, from PP Protect and um, the van is absolutely looking stunning but not only that they're very welcoming offered brews all day long if you need to but um, yes yeah, so, uh, Richard just um, go through a little bit of, of what's what you guys do here to get it to the standard that this, this van's in now yeah so when we first come in we still wash the vehicle and get it all prepped outside to bring you in yeah uh, and then we fully uh, prep the surfaces which involves uh, roofs polishing yeah um, so the way the mops oscillate they just bring the paintwork GRP and all the panels even the acrylic windows back to how they they should look from yeah really or better than new sometimes yeah, yeah. Vehicles I, could, come I with, can see that just looking at this things like that so paintwork's not very often machined anyway any vehicle whether it's a car you know it's usually come through a paint shop that's um, you know machine robot painting yeah. so it just comes through and they'll have a PDI and just check things and if it yeah. needs nibbing they'll nib it but the, the, the machining makes a massive difference yeah. to the surfaces yeah, and that's where you get that sort of eye gloss finish and then the coating keeps it looking like that yeah. Uh, yeah it just makes it a lot easier to clean as well yeah um, 
you know, simple washing. There's, there's no, you know, the aftercare wise, you can use, you know, as long as you use a good uh, shampoo rather than yeah. a chemical based product, you know, you can use any shampoo. We do sell aftercare range anyway, yeah. a full range yeah. of products from tire gels to glass cleaners to, to shampoo. So you've got a website as well. Yeah, so, you? so on the website, there's, there's stuff on there. So for, for everything really, for yeah. fly spray, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, no, excellent. We sort of do it for a vehicle. Because uh, some people still like detailing their, yeah. their motorhomes. Yes. Yeah. You know, car car people love detailing cars, but I say some motorhome people, you know, they love looking after them, you know, down to Definitely, wheel you know, because if you're like looking that. after your motorhome, it's a big investment at the end yeah. of the day. So, you know, I, I do recommend... And it protects um, it against the sunlight, UV. It. Yeah. You know, so a lot of these GRP panels go flat over time, especially yeah. if you go abroad with the heat. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and, you know, water sits there a lot as well. So it, it makes it more intensive... And it's sort of, um, it's sort of uh, the GRP goes flat and dull, yeah. uh, and it just oxidises, and that's what yeah. it is really. Well, it's been an absolute, you know, great service from you guys, you and uh, I recommend anyone um, if they need ceramic coating, uh, want to get it done, uh, definitely check PP Protect out. Um, along with that. Um, you're happy to offer a yeah, 10% discount code 10 free, discount for your, and, um, your vlogs we'll and work stuff out like the that. code, and then I'll put it in the uh, description. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. I'm now back from, it was around two and a half, three hour drive, and I've uh, absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna wrap this one up here. Hopefully it was of use to you, any of the content on this one, and I will uh, see you later. Laters.